The performance that I it, that I enjoyed the most probably had to have been uh, John Utterson this year for Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, I mean, I had been in the last what three fall plays? Yeah, yeah, because I, I missed the first one. Um, this was my first musical this year, actually, uh, and I'm glad that I got to do it before I graduated because I would have been really upset if I missed a show like this. Uh, like. There aren't a lot of schools around that are able to pull off what we did, and I'm like proud to be able to say that, especially having somebody like him play Jekyll and Hyde. Um, John Utterson was it was such a different role for me to do, and it was um, it was like it was like starting fresh in a sense because it was it was way different from what I've ever done, and uh, it challenged me a bit more, just as it challenged me with uh, Othello, but. To me, with Othello, I was able to bring a lot more of my like my personal qualities to it um, in a way that I probably wasn't able to do with John Utterson. So it challenged me a bit more, and that's why I really liked it. Spencer, if if I have to think about a word about you, it has to be range. <laughs> Prince Eric, <Yeah>. Iago. <laughs> yeah. So for you, especially because of the wide range of roles you've performed at this school, which one sticks out to you the most? Uh, Jekyll and Hyde was really, really awesome just because of how fun of a challenge it was um, to have to embody two completely different characters at the same time sometimes uh, and make that switch so quickly um, in every manner from physical to vocal to uh, mannerisms uh, and the way that I interacted with the other characters because the energy has to be different right. um, and uh, getting to just play two polar opposites uh, was a really really cool challenge that I enjoyed taking on with, with artists I think it's instructive to know who do you look up to who do you watch okay yeah definitely so I'll start with you Spencer who is the performer that you sit and you watch and you go man that person really has talent yeah. Uh, I love Sir Ian McKellen. Uh, I've always been a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and just all of the work that he's done, especially with the Royal Shakespeare Company, um, is just brilliant. He just knows what he's talking about. Uh, and when you hear him talk about acting and do master classes, um, just the way that he approaches a role or a monologue or even a single line um, to hear just sort of the gears turning in his brain uh, of him approaching that is uh, really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely one of the actors that I look up to the most. Tariq, how about you? Um, I have a few. I mean, there's there's a lot. Uh, Denzel Washington, for one. Uh, just, just with the amount of work that he's had, like his entire life, uh, it's it's amazing. One person that I really, truly, honestly look up to, and I'll probably say is my favorite, um, is uh, Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando was probably like, I don't know, would you consider him like the OG of method acting? Oh yeah. Like he, I, I've watched countless amounts of interviews and I've read so many different articles about him and like it's it sucks that he's not alive anymore but there's there's a lot of uh, teachings that he's left behind that I um, that I'll even I'll sit in dressing rooms sometimes before shows and I'll think back to things that he said and I'll think back to different qualities that he brought to his performances um, and I'll try to I'll try to somewhat implement that and keep that in my head as I as I keep going. Um, so Marlon Brando definitely uh, I really really enjoy watching things with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Uh, I, the list will go on, but Marlon Brando is probably at the number one for me. 